Hey there guys and gals, uh, or subscribers or watchers, whoever you are. Uh, here's a little update, part 4, um, on the CUCV Dana 60, um, disc brake conversion. There is the truck, this is all work stuff, but here is me pushing in the, um, lug bolts. So, uh, we got these lug bolts here, uh, they're splined right there. And that's just a press fit into the hub through both of them. So, um, I'm going to show you my setup and how I'm doing it. So, uh, first off, I've got the take brake uh, Arbor Press. Um, got the new rotors from Napa. The hub is the Hillbilly Wizard hub. This one's the Hillbilly Wizard hub. Um, Alright, so let's see my setup here. So, I've got the... Here's the arbor press, block of wood. I sat the hub down here, put the rotor on top, put all the lug, lug bolts through, um, and then it's not, it's, it's most of the weight is off centered. If you could see, that's the center, it's over there. So when you push on, the, on that side, it wants to kick over. So I have this little aluminum scrap and this little stainless steel scrap very close so it's uh um it holds that end and uh so it doesn't tilt um but let me push one in for you this one's all set to go so this is the arbor press um if you want to see from the bottom and i'm just pushing it down until it seats this little doodad is a little off but it don't matter it's still the ram is pushing on the right place uh, and there is a lot of pressure in these things so uh, I have a feeling that hammering those would not be very fun and bada bing bada boom she's seated sat seated uh, and you'll see it comes very close to the wood and doesn't touch it but that's how I'm doing it. But what I don't understand is how this is supposed to, um, you know, find its center because it's it's a, you have a little bit of twist on it when uh, when those are not. I'm hoping that. Well, I assume that the spline would automatically center itself on the hub, but you know it, it could always shear one side of the splines off and keep the other side. But that's unlikely in any case um but and i also painted my caliper if we come back over to the truck there's sal here's one caliper painted i took the spring off and taping that was a pain in the ass this is where i cleaned my rotor at right on this piece of paper it's a brake clean i love brake clean um I took the spring off, took the pads off, the that thing off, and, uh, uh oh, oh, okay, I thought that was flattened, um, and those are the, the, uh, slide pins, and then I gotta do the same thing to that, take all that crap out and do that, and then I will be also working on the spline after that's painted, the second one, after I push all these bolts in, and then I will paint that second one, and then I'll work on the splines. And then I'll be waiting on parts. So that's always good. Not really good, but it's better to be waiting on parts than wait for the parts to get in and then rush around. So, yep, I'm going to push the rest of them in. And uh, this is part four, just a quick, or I might add it on to part three if I figure out how to edit it on my iPhone. But I doubt that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll keep you updated. Peace out.